Hello everybody, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is the Daily Read and this is for Wednesday, November the 13th, 2019. For all signs, so it may or may not resonate with you. It probably won't resonate for everybody. So you decide what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, we have an angel answer card here. I'm just shuffling the cards, seeing what the message is. Okay. Big message, it's time to be assertive. It's time to go for what you want. It's time to make something happen. There's a lot of energy with the assertiveness card. Beautiful message from the angels. I'm just gonna pull an energy card. Okay, angel spirits, guides, what's the message please for everybody? For, okay, I'm gonna choose another one as well. We've got anxiety here. But you're going to conquer it. See, I, something, I think something is holding you back with that assertiveness energy. There's a time to, now is the time to be assertive. But some of you are anxious about something. Anxiety is getting on top of you maybe something is holding you back from moving forward and it is about understanding what that is because this is saying that you can conquer whatever is holding you back now there's also success and victory ahead so time to take action time to be assertive even in speaking your voice speaking your truth maybe some of you need to vocalize what you're feeling some of you might be keeping something within and it's upsetting you in some way. Okay, let's pull the fairy card. Okay. So the message that comes out is precious time. The fairy of time wants you to experience every moment fully and to make the most of your precious time. Be mindful not to waste others' time either. Interesting, okay. Okay. So I'm gonna pull some cards okay what do the cards have to say please angel spirits guides what's the message for everybody for the 13th of november 2019 and i am shuffling today waiting for the cards to come out so it is like one conscious okay one consciousness i should say connected consciousness you choose the cards your energy chooses the cards we've got the knight of pentacles there okay another card turned over page of cups Three of Wands. Okay, one turned over there. Okay, we've got the Five of Cups here. Oh, <laughs> they're just flying across the table now. We've got the Five of Swords. Wow, yeah. I felt this energy, the Magician. Beautiful. Okay, and again isn't that a beautiful message we have the victory card again six of wands 
So big message of overcoming something, claiming a victory, things changing, maybe the path turning towards success, victory, achievement, coming through a difficult time. Okay, let's start with that card. <laughs> because that is what the Six of Wands is. This person is, they're in a victory pose. You know, because it has taken, they're celebrating their success. Because it has taken energy, time, effort to overcome challenge to get to this point. That is the victory here. It's been hard earned. And there's a message here that even though some of you might be going through a difficult time, don't allow anxiety, don't allow, don't waste time on things that don't serve you anymore. This is about really focusing your efforts on where you're going to push through something, where you're going to come through the other side of something and claim your victory, claim your success. There's a promise that whatever your challenge is, know your power to overcome it. Because this is one's energy. This is all about power, potential. When you put in the effort, when you have that drive, when you find your passion, when you take action. And I feel for some of you, the Knight of Coins or the Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Cups, you're moving on from something that could have affected you emotionally. There's emotional loss here or regret or mourning what's gone of some kind. But you see, as this light shines onto these two cups that are full, because all these cups are empty, these three cups are empty, these two cups are full behind this person, you're being asked to embrace the glass half full. You're being asked to now engage with new opportunity, engage with the present in order to move forward. The Knight of Cups, for me as a reader, is very much where when you start taking steps to bring change into your life, change starts happening. Sometimes it feels like nothing's happening at first. Remember the Knight of Pentacles, he plants that field. And remember the seeds have to sprout below the surface to get their foundation before they bring great reward. And this is sustainable reward. There's a message now of taking practical steps, grounding yourself in order to bring positive change in your life, in order to get yourself back on track. This is very much, you need patience. This is the slowest of all the nights. But my goodness, is it solid? Is it rewarding in the long term? Um, there's a kind of message here that good things are coming, but you have to embrace the present. You have to do the work in moving forward, letting go of the past and moving on to the present in order to get back on trap, track because the steps that you're taking are leading to reward, um, long-term reward, sus uh, sustainability, solidity in your life. It can be something to do with finding value again in your life. I feel that Knight of Pentacles energy can be linked to self-esteem, self-worth as well, where there's an opportunity now to bring a positive change in your life. Now, you know, that could be on the business front. There could be actual opportunity presenting itself to some of you. Um, this could be an opportunity when you embrace the, the glasses that are full, the present position, if you like, that you're bringing self-value back into your life as well. Um, so beautiful message. So the five of swords and the page of cups. So the page of cups can be about when you need to go within, when you need to trust your intuition to bring positive change into your life. The pages are the beginnings of change. And we see that you're getting back on track. There's positive change of foot. It's been a long time coming for some of you. You've had to be really patient, but this is about going within, connecting to yourself, becoming emotionally centered, also listening to your intuition to guide you forward now. 
and allow yourself to look forward. Not allow negativity to keep you in that negative state of mind. Negative thinking doesn't serve you. However challenging it is to overcome, and we all do it, don't we? We all have our periods of, of thinking negatively. And this is basically saying, connect to who you are. This is go within in order to bring positive change into your life. And this is emotional change. This is happy change for the better. I feel for some of you that this is about saying happiness is a choice. And it's about trusting your instincts, connecting to who you are to move you forward now. Yeah. Now there could be new love coming into your life as well. That's the only thing I could say, but I don't feel this. Sometimes the pages can be an offer of new love. Could be from the Knight of Coins, actually. Could be from an Earth sign. But I, I feel for some of you, this is more about finding that solidity within to stop this negativity preying on your internal world. And that's when things start to happen. Look at this. This is the shift. The Magician, the Three of Wands. This is productive energy. This is constructive energy. The magician asks you, what do you want to change? What is it that you want to change in your life? Is it all of your life? Is it part of your life? Are you moving from this five of, sword, five of cups, five of swords energy here? Are you wanting to change a particular part of your life to do with love, to do with career, to do with money, to do with a home or family dynamic? What are you trying to change? Because it's possible. And there's also a message about it's time. And it's about being assertive because you can claim your success. But equally, that anxiety, that negativity can claim you as well and stop you from manifesting. And we have two cards of manifestation here. We have the Magician and we have the Three of Wands. The Threes in Tarot are the beginnings of getting things suddenly changing, morphing. Um, many milestones, things beginning to happen, the efforts beginning to just show glimmers of hope you know and that is the magician energy there's a message here that when you realize your own capabilities and we've got the the wands we've got the cup we've got the cups we've got the pentacles we've got the swords here when you understand your own earthly abilities when you realize that you've got everything that you need combined with the divine energy that shines on you to bring positive change into your life that's when you manifest. That's when things start shifting and changing in your life. That's when the real magic starts to happen, is when you believe it can. And the Three of Wands is evidence of that. The Three of Wands is the effort that you've been putting in, is beginning to show glimmers, signs of paying off. This person has been working hard and they're looking into the distance. They can see that the work that they've been putting in, their passions, their desires, their efforts, is beginning to bring hope, beginning to bring reward into their life. Their ships are beginning to come in. It's not quite there yet, but there's promise of real transformation now and victory and success with the Six of Wands. Put something behind you in order to embrace the new. That's what I'm feeling because the magician is the first step he is the first numbered major arcana. So he is kind of like a new beginning. And the new beginning comes from realization that you can. You can change things for the better. You can claim your victory. So, yeah, I, I just feel there's a big message of focus your energy and efforts. Don't waste time on things that have gone. And I think that's why precious time has come up here as well because there's a big message with the Five of Cups, however poignant it is, that what's gone is gone. You can't change the past, but you can shape your future. And that is what the magician is all about. So, beautiful, beautiful reading. I'm just gonna pull a spirit message card to finish off the reading. Okay, spirit, oh, there's too many there. I'm not gonna choose all those. Okay, Spirit, what's the message, please, 
for people for 13th of November 2019, please. What do people need to hear? Oh, okay. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Trust. Trust that you can. While your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear direction, your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path. The logical path may be one that you consider safe and more familiar, but you could be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more. And I think it is following your intuition to guide you forward now to bring positive change into your life. Because there's a big message that change can happen. So time to work your magic and embrace your gifts. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you and I'll see you next time. Thank you.